guys, it's Snow Bubble Monster. Today I am here with a haul from Tokyo. Yay! So I went to Tokyo last month and I picked up a lot of things. Of course, a lot of them is law related, but just to get this haul rolling, I'll show you guys the fashion items and the non law things first because that is just the bulk of my haul. And yeah, let's get started. The first thing I want to show you guys are these pairs of socks I got from ACDC Rag. They are cute, drippy socks in pastel. They also had black and white and black and red, so it looks like blood, but I just decided to get these pastel ones. I also went to WeGo and got a lot of socks. So these were all 300 yen, which is roughly $3 USD. And this is a long pair. Cute rainbow one. I got this one with a lace ankle, eye blue one that has this heart lacy cutout, rainbow pastel yellow hair right here, this calf leg pink sparkly one, cute pastel yellow, pastel purple, bluish color. Last but not least, I got these pink uh, nylon, I believe they're nylon, stocking like but these were all the same price, which I found really surprising, especially because these socks are a lot longer compared to maybe like these kinds here. I just wanted to stock up on a lot of pastel basics because that's pretty hard to find in the States unless it's springtime. And even when it's springtime, a lot of these colors are usually just in kids' sizes and they won't fit me at all. So, yay, I have socks for the next maybe a couple years right now <laughs> here. So one of the stores I really wanted to visit for fashion items, accessories was 6% Doki Doki and their stuff is pretty expensive out of my budget but I got these pair of glasses. These are actually just a clip on that you can put on your shirt and unfortunately this is the only thing I got. I went there on the last day of my trip so I didn't really have much money left but I thought these mint pair would look really nice with some of my outfits. I also got these pairs of earrings. It was from a store I follow, but I forgot which store it is right now. But they had a table with artist merch, and this is an artist merch like earring. These are made of acrylic, and here is a gem, and these are hook earrings, which I find really surprising that there aren't a lot of hook earrings in Japan. There are mostly clip-ons, and I can't wear clip-ons because I already have piercings and I don't want it to irritate the pierced hole. Last fashion item is these clips I got from Vigo. Yeah, take Vigo. And I just thought they're really cute and kind of funky. I got this Gengar ring. It is the cutest thing ever. Let me see if I can get it out. Yay! So this is from the Pokemon Center and there were other characters, I think like there was Mew and of course Pikachu. So you just slip it on like this and I think it's so adorable. So the second and last item I got from the Pokemon Center is this Master Ball. You can actually put um, toys in here. So they sold those separately and they had different um, types of Pokeballs too. But I just got the Master Ball, I thought it looked really nice. It has a pearl finish on top and I bought it for cosplay purposes. So. I didn't want to get too many because for posing with pictures, I just think one is sufficient. I got the Starbucks Spring Season Blend 2019 coffee. This one is the origami one where you do your own drip coffee. So you can see on here, like this is what it looks like when on the box, like you just open up the paper packaging clip it on your mug and pour hot water over it to brew your coffee and this one is just your basic stick uh, package mixes I haven't tried these yet I wanted to film them before I try them so yeah now that I'm filming I'll get to try it moving along with the sakura theme I also got this sakura sake the flower is kind of like flipped over right now but my friend convinced me to get this with him and I am going to display this. I'm not going to drink this. It looks really pretty. 
so I think it will look nice with um, anything chopper related that I have because chopper and sakura is just something that goes together. Speaking of chopper, I also got this chopper water bottle from the Mugiwara store. A lot of the things I'm going to show you guys now is from the Mugiwara store, the jump shop, uh, Lashinbang, which is secondhand store, Ami Ami. Did I get something from Ami Ami? Maybe I did it. I think I did. But and, and there's a lot of stores in Harajuku where they sell a lot of the same things. So this part of the haul will be that. If I got it from the jump store or the Mugiwara store, I'll try to put an annotation so you guys know. Anyways, so here I got this chopper water bottle. It is just water and it is in the shape of chopper, so I wanted to get it. And I think displaying these two together will also look really cute. So I got Law's Devil Fruit. This is a case filled, if I remember correctly, with marshmallows. They had other devil fruits too. I don't recall what it looks like, but let's check it out. I didn't open anything because I wanted to film it for you guys first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I saw a Korean YouTuber buy this and I wanted to get one for myself. Originally, I wanted to get the, um, the steel figure of the fruit, but that's like kind of expensive. And the quality I have read online isn't that good either. Okay, I can't open this. So I just opened this and it smells so good. It's like strawberry. Mm. It's like a shortbread. I think it's like a shortbread. It's really good. It's Lost Devil Fruit Gummies. This is an exclusive to the Tokyo One Piece Tower. I didn't get to go into the actual um, attraction of the One Piece Tower. I just shopped at the Mugiwara store on the first floor. But they do have the exclusive, uh, they do have some exclusive merch there too and goods. So I recommend you guys check it out, even though you guys might not go to the upper level. It's sparkly. What? It tastes minty and planty. What? Continuing with the food theme, I got this little keychain of him as a bread. It's a squishy, and this is something I've wanted for a while. There are other characters too, but I just got lost. I'm not going to use this, I'm just going to display it up too because I know squishies can get really dirty and you can't really clean squishies from what I know. Law plushie, this one is super round and this one is really cute. He has a bean bottom so you can just display him like this. And there are other characters. They had this on Ami Ami and I was going to pre-order him but why not just buy it for cheaper. I mean not cheaper but I don't have to pay for shipping if I'm there so I just picked this up. A lot of the things that I bought were things that I've either wanted for a long time or was going to buy online anyways and thought I'd just save the trouble of trying to buy it online. I also got this law t-shirt. It is extra large and they only had extra large so I got it but it kind of works out. I can wear it as a tunic or a dress and I've seen this style of shirt on Amiami. I will link it in the description if they still have something similar to this. And it's super comfy. It is a jersey material, so it is lightweight and it's great for the summer. I got the log cable bite. I don't have an Apple phone because it says for iPhone only, but I thought it was really cute. And I think I'm just going to display it like in this packaging in my display case. He is wearing his dress rosa outfit, which is kind of sad because I wanted to get this in. <laughs> I also bought this law mug. It's a nice mug. The handle's really thin and I will not be using this to drink. It was just it'll just sit in my display and I'll probably put like a plushie in it or some other law like collectibles. I also picked up this pair of law scissors. I've been wanting this for a long time ever since I saw it on their 
um, we want to store a blog and I am not going to take this out of the packaging maybe move it around so it's like displayed better or just display it like this because it's freaking adorable so I found my bag of gachapon and law stuff so I got this law hat hair clip this one I am probably going to wear because it's so cute wear and display just depending when and it is plush and it comes with a small charm of his Jolly Roger I'm not really sure where you can display this but it has a lobster clasp, clasp? lobster clasp so you could probably put it where you see fit I also got a lot of gachapon stuff because I thought it was really cute here is this donut pouch a Sanrio candy pouch A can another candy wrapper pouch I also got some stuff from FR2 and because they're plus 18 I'll probably just put pictures of these on my Instagram yeah don't want to be lagged for a whole video I also got the Reiju rubber strap got this law mini law with a stand and this will be perfect because it is my favorite outfit which or one of my favorite outfits which is a Zoe outfit and I think this is my first Zoe outfit vlog I also got this mini manga keychain this is from the jump store and it is a mini manga replica in a hard case what I realized is not all the jump stores had this I went to three different jump stores so this one was from the Tokyo Station jump store which had a lot of variety of um, one piece and I think Naruto as well they also had like this vending machine thing from the Tokyo One Piece Tower and this is an exclusive law coin this was pretty expensive but I thought I needed a souvenir from Tokyo One Piece Tower or something that says specifically that it's from Tokyo One Piece Tower and I wanted to get the magnet but the magnet was sold out so I'll probably have to look for that online now I think that's it for the small items. I got this run from the Tokyo Sky Tree Jump Store. A friend I made in Japan said I should check it out because they have a lot there. And it's great, I found this. This is a keychain of Lost Submarine or Polar Tang. And this is something that has been on my wish list for a long time. But no one really sells this online anymore, even though. From what I'm aware, it is an older keychain, and this is uh, the Sky Tree store is the only store that I found this keychain at. If you guys want to pick this up yourself, and unfortunately they didn't have any of the other ships, just the Polar Tang. So the first thing I actually bought when I got to Tokyo is this, which is a Beppo coin bank, and I've been wanting this one for a long time. Like I saw it on someone's Instagram just of them filming the jump store and then I'm like, oh how much is it? But they never responded and now I finally have one because I love Pippo. Okay, let me see if I get this out. So this is really big and it's when I re uh, when I bought this, that's when I really realized that uh, Japan, because they don't allow returns like they do in the States, they open everything up for you so you can check the quality and um, if you're really happy with it or not. So this is really cute. His feet move. And I don't have a bed bowl shelf going right now, but this would look really cute with my current Law and Law's crew shelf. So I also got this Law Mochi. I try to avoid getting things that are the dress rosa outfit because it is one of my least favorite outfits. But this is so cute, I just have to get him. And he was pretty popular with my friends too when I went and I think he's just so adorable. He is going to look so nice in here or on my bed next to my um, my bevel plushie. This one also has a bean bottom so he is nice to put and he will sit still. I played the Kuji at the jump store and got this Bakugo Shikishi. They also had figures and I wasn't really aiming for the figures or anything in particular, I just wanted to play. 
and it was really fun. I got this shikichi from a secondhand store. I don't know the name, but it is near Mr. Donut in Harajuku. They have they include the stand and everything. I was going to get this online anyway, so again, why not buy it when I am there? This is an older one and this will look nice with my Corazon and Law shelf I have going. I also got this One Piece magazine. This one has Law's story in it, so or Law's backstory. And if you guys want to know more about Law's backstory, it is actually on Wikia, the translated version or translated and summarized version. So you guys can check it out. I got this one specifically from Lashimbang. This is the university or school preppy set from One Piece of these four boys. I got this for 200 yen, which is like $2, which is really, really cheap. Even at the store, I think this was around five, maybe $7. But because this is older, they don't even have them in stores anymore. And I found a new one. Perfect. And I got this Tales of Symphonia clear file folder of Lloyd, Genus, and Colette. My favorite is Kratos and um, Prisea. But no Prisea, no Kratos. So these touch clear file folders, I got them from the One Piece store. This is the egg one of Law and Beppo. This is of Law in a suit. I tried looking for the wedding version as well, but I couldn't find it. Maybe because that is also older. I got this Law Wanted poster. I think there's cardboard in here, so it seems thick. And I got two. One to display and one to keep in storage just in case this one gets damaged. And these were pretty cheap. I think these were $8 each, 800 yen, which is a lot cheaper than the ones in Little Tokyo because they only sell wall decals and they're like 25 to 30 bucks. I got this mini clear file folder. This one is probably just going to be in display as well. I also got this mini note thing. It was an expensive piece of paper, but I thought it'd be really cute to display or frame. I got lucky because when I got to Tokyo, they started selling these new, or new, not they are new, <laughs> these new um, scented cards. So I got two laws and one katakuri, so um, they're in sealed packages like with uh, car air fresheners but what you do is you take them out of the package and you put them in your wallet so it smells nice every time you open up your wallet because I don't know about you guys but my wallet tend to smell bad just because money is kind of gross and they have the law sample out, they didn't have the katakuri one so I don't know if they all have the same scent but the katakuri one is just for display and one law for use and one law for display. I also got this law keycap. It's super cute and also just for display. Here is Katakuri clear file folder. Here is law. I really like Katakuri so I'm going to um, work on an Ida bag for him. It's going to be very simple because his merch tends to be really overpriced. And here is the law one. I really like this art. And I also have a law uh, clear file collection going. So I want to compile them and put them together. So I got this Beppo, um, what do you call it? It's like kind of like pop socket, but these are just the ring one and it has a tassel. These two things are from La Shimbang. And this is a, for the 75 millimeter can badges. So these are can badge cases. And what you do is you put them in these sleeves. So they stay, the art and the actual can badge stays protected when you either use them in your bags or clip them outside of your Eda bags. And this is something I've been wanting for a while too, but this is a storage folder for your clear file folders. I thought this was kind of expensive. It was $7.50. I mean, these are more expensive. This was $10.80. But you can put 20, there's 20 um, pockets in here, so you can put 20 plus in here depending on if you guys want to double up. And this was a cheaper one. There was also one that was slightly more expensive with the clear sleeve in the front, but I didn't think that was really necessary. So I just got this one and yeah, that's it. Now let's get into my bag of small one piece items. 
We are almost there, guys. For the recent fourth anniversary Tokyo Tower, they came out with these merch of all the characters, not all the characters, all the um, straw hats and some additional characters. Maybe it was just small. And I got two acrylic stands, one to put in a future Eda bag and one to display as is. And they're pretty small and I think these are just nice gifts to give because you can choose um, which character you're going to get. So you can just choose whichever character you want to give to your friend. And I really like this aesthetic because it has like all the checkered pattern, they're in suits, and it has like cards card suits which are like some of my favorite things in terms of design so it's like heart spade diamond and clover they also have um can badge of this so i bought a blind pack to open later i also got this law can badge set they have um notebooks uh the mini writing boards and and clear file folder of this art but this is the only thing I can find so it is a pin set with Law and his Jolly Roger got this button, this is his recent birthday button 2018 birthday button Tokyo One Piece Tower exclusive and this is the 2018 regular um, Mugiwara store birthday can I also got this Katakuri can badge I missed the pre-order for it on Amiyami so I just picked it up I really wish this was purple, not blue, but... So I got these two from the gem store, and these are just log cam badges. And I got three of these from the 4th anniversary Tokyo One Piece Tower one. So let's hurry get into this. It's been, I think, three weeks since I came back now, and I still haven't opened these. I'm always hoping for law. Okay, so we got Robin, this can badge. I'll give you guys a close-up of it later. I am running short on time, so I'm just going to open these and add a close-up for you guys. Hope for law, hope for law, one, two, three. Oh, we got Frankie. And last one. I got law! Oh my gosh! I got law! Oh my gosh! Okay. This is great. I got law and he will match. Oh my gosh, he will match the acrylic stamps that I got. So, from these law ones, there are 10 different ones you can get. And I don't have a particular preference because it's law. I just hope I don't. Get doubles. growing collection like this entire shelf is supposed to be punk hazard maybe with the exception of two things right now because I'm running out of space so these are all the things that I bought and last but not least I got this from a friend that I made there which I am so grateful for he gave this to me from his personal collection so thank you so much this is my first Luffy figure I don't collect Luffy but I'm still really thankful that he gave me this figure I am going to display it and look at it with um like boop boop it's gonna be like all happy tears when I see this figure all the time and yeah I think that is it like this is legit it yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one